Oh well, not the most enthralling game. Nil nil, a scoreline that us Manchester United fans just want to forget about. Like, oh, we had enough of that last season. But of course, it is just a friendly, those words that are thrown about all the time. But uh, 22 players used again by Jose Mourinho for Manchester United. And uh, as he said prior to this game, he's just trying to give everyone minutes. And the main cause of this game was, of course, the Wayne Rooney foundation for his testimonial and i have donated that was the whole point of it i've donated the five pounds that uh, they request but um other than that obviously wayne rooney's testimonial he had a relatively quiet game uh, he was only on the pitch for 51 slash 52 minutes i think um and then he was subbed off for rashford uh, the best chances that we had fell to ibrahimovic it's early days, but I'm liking the runs that Ibrahimovic is making. Uh, hopefully a lot more players can pick them out because he created a couple of chances for himself. Nice interlinking play with Rooney a couple of times. Uh, a couple of shots on target, but nothing too spectacular. I would actually say the... I know I said the best chances felt to Ibrahimovic, but probably a slightly better one was uh, when the ball came to Luke Shaw just outside the box and it was deflected wide. If the Everton player didn't get a block in that, that would have been a goal for Luke Shaw, which would have incidentally been his first goal for Manchester United. In my opinion, he was the best player in the first half. Couple was Latan, like those two were the two best. And then, of course, in the second half, a load of changes. And um, it kind of died down. Everton had a couple of chances. Lukaku with a header that was just wide. De Gea was forced into a good save as well. I'm not sure if it was De Feu who shot that. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, yeah, other than that... It was a pretty boring game. Everton did play a bit defensive. It was rotation, players trying to get minutes. It, it was more about player fitness and keeping them fit and just getting a bit of match rhythm going than anything else. But uh, the next game will be a lot more competitive because although it is only the Community Shield, it's still a competitive game. It's still silverware in some regard. And uh, I'm definitely excited for it. Leicester have just been beaten 4-2 by Barcelona. Their new signing, Musa scored 2 so, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how our defence deals with that. I can't see Smalling being fit in time for that game, given he wasn't even in the squad for this game. Uh, we had 22 players playing, but he was unfortunately injured. So, I don't think he's going to be playing in that community shield. And then, of course, he's banned for the Bournemouth game. So, we won't see him until Southampton, which I think is when we'll see Paul Pogba's debut. Of course, he hasn't been announced yet, but... I'm expecting an announcement sometime later this week, but end of pre-season, it's been an utter disaster, to be fair. The preparations were terrible. China, uh, the pitches were awful. Um, everything just seemed to go wrong. We Obviously, we've had a couple of wins and uh, a few minutes for each of the players, but coming back from the Euros is going to take its time, like it always does. It, it, traditionally, with any season, any team, it takes a while to get into the rhythm of things, particularly after the World Cup or the Euros, so... You know, for every team, it's going to take a while to get into the rhythm. So I'm, I'm not too worried. Pre-season's been a bit hit and miss. But generally, uh, apart from the disasters off the pitch, the results are probably what you want in pre-season. We've had a loss. We've had a draw. We've had a win. And that's kind of what you want. Just to show things aren't perfect and try and patch up any mistakes as best you can for that opening day against Bournemouth. But anyway, I'll be back with another match review for the Leicester game on the 7th, which is this Sunday, I think. So uh, hopefully we see some goals in that. But... Uh, yeah, Rooney, no matter what people say, in my opinion, is a club legend. Of course, it differs from player to player, uh, person to person, but he's England's highest goal scorer. He's about to become this season our greatest ever goal scorer, our highest beating Sir Bobby Charlton's record. And uh, yeah, he's been here 12 years. So in my eyes, he's a club legend, but of course, some people think because he hasn't, well, he's requested to leave twice that he isn't. So it differs opinion, but at the end of the day, in my opinion, he's a legend and some people might disagree. But anyway, this has dragged on for far too long considering it's been a nil-nil game. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.